Okay guys, so this is part 2 of 4.2. Now this is actual now calculation instead of just summarization of the characteristics of each graph, okay? So it is page 8, page 8 of 4.2. Now page 8, 4.2, we have example 1. Now we have y equals 4x squared plus k and with a point of negative 1 comma negative 1, it says find what the k is. So when I, whenever you are asked those kind of questions, simply just use whatever that is given to us. Use the point since it is given to us. So I will substitute, okay? Sub negative 1 comma negative 1. So if you sub negative 1 comma negative 1 into the equation, I have negative 1 equals 4 negative 1 squared plus k. This gives me negative 1. Now negative 1 squared is 1, so it is 4 times 1 plus k. Therefore, it is 4 plus k equals negative 1. k will be negative 5, and then that's done. Okay. Now, once you have that, example 2 is about the same. Okay. Example 2 is about the same. So let's take a look at example 2 then. So example 2, we have y equals ax squared plus k, and then two points, 2 comma 3, negative 4 comma negative 9 and it says find a and k so in this case same thing use the given information so I'll label this as point 1 point 2 so for the point 1 substitute it in 3 equals a not, not 9 a 2 squared plus k therefore 3 equals 4a plus k okay now that's all we can do with the first one. Now then let's take a look at the second one. Second one substituted in. So we have negative 9 equals a negative 4 squared plus k, which gives me 16a plus k. Now remember, I have two equations, two variables, use, substitution, or elimination. And that's why you should not forget anything from the unit 1 or unit 2 or unit 3 more importantly. So then let's use elimination. 3 equals 4a plus k and then negative 9 equals 16a plus k. Now since k's are the same with the same signs, I subtract it. So then I get 12 equals negative 12a. Therefore, a is negative 1. Now once I find what the a is, I simply substitute this back into one of these two equations. So then I get, I'm just going to put it right beside, 3 equals 4, negative 1, plus k. So then I have negative 4 plus k, k will be 7. So we have found all these two points. Now the last one, let's do example 3. Now this is more of real life um, related ones. It is actually quite widely used. So we have a graph, um, we have, see, not a y, h equals negative 0 0.09 d squared plus 200. Now, as soon as you see, the first thing you have to extract is the vertex, okay? So the vertex is 0, 200, okay? Nothing is directly added to d squared, or d, sorry, not d squared, d, so it is a 0 for the x value. Then after that, we have um, 200 followed by, so it is 200 for the y coordinate of the vertex. Now, A says we have to draw. Okay, so let's put y, well, not the y, h and d. Now, where is the vertex? 0, 200. So I'll say this is 0, 200. And this is going down this way, right? It goes down this way and the reason is see the sign of the number in front of x or d or whatever the value or the variable here is negative so it's actually facing down so drawing is complete now b b is a bit different thing so it says what is the approximate height or the max height max height is occurring at the max value of this graph, which is at 200. So I'm going to say max at 200 meters. Now then C. Now C is kind of tricky part. It says find the approximate width of the arch. So the width is from here to here, since it's not really um, digging into the ground. The problem is how do I find these? Now, 
hopefully you recognize these. Um, these are the x-intercepts, right? These are the x-intercepts. So for the x-intercept, it is well, it is number comma zero, meaning my h in this case will be zero and solve for what the d is. So zero equals negative zero point zero nine d squared plus two hundred. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the other side, and then I get 0 0.09 d squared equals 200. So divide everything by 0 0.09, and then d squared equals, I don't know what this is, um, 200 divided by, so divided by 9 times 100, well, this is about... 11-ish, so I'll say it is approximately 2,200. Now, since it's d squared, then d will be square root of 2,000, approximately 2,200 meters. Okay. Now, the last one says, find the height at the horizontal distance of um, 15 meters from one end. So, D is the last question. It's probably, it can be the trickiest, but it's actually quite straightforward. It says D equals 15 meters, basically, right? It says, oh, sorry, height, um, yes. Because it says at the horizontal distance of 15 meters. Horizontal distance, well, that is represented by D. So D here is the 15 meters. Plug that in. So then H equals negative 0.09. 15 squared plus 200 I believe you have get this um, you get this correctly now 15 squared is 225 plus 200 well you can find this value on your own I'm gonna stop here okay so hopefully you get these three questions I will um, see you guys in class okay bye guys